Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe. This one is going to be doing another versus matchup video. This one is TV show Morgan versus comic book Andrea. All right, guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for the Walking Dead universe. And at today's video, we're going to be doing a discussion video. This one is the next versus matchup video. This one is the one you guys voted for this week, which is TV show Morgan versus comic book Andrea. Now, we're talking about two characters that can handle themselves pretty good, I'd say. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, we've got the Ninja Turtle and we've got the Sharpshooter. So, uh, yeah, these two are, are pretty stealthy. They're pretty great. Um... They're very good at what they do, and uh, even though some people don't exactly like TV Morgan, he is one of my favorite characters of the Walking Dead universe. Although, comic book Andrea, in my opinion, is the second best Walking Dead character ever created behind TV show Rick Grimes. Uh, comic book Andrea is in my opinion, one of the best female characters ever created. She is absolutely amazing. She has so many great moments, so it's very hard to, you know, pin these two against each other, but... I think this is going to make for a very interesting list. So, let's get into it first with stealth. Now, who is better at stealth? Now, I'd say for this one, Morgan Jones with the stick. He's very sneaky. He comes in out of nowhere. He's very, you know, good at what he does, with all that type of stuff, uh, you know, for sure. Although... Andrea is also very sneaky and she has a lot of really great moments where she can sneak up behind you and just stab you or kill you or something like that, you know. Uh, she's also a huge, you know, advantage with the, the sniper rifle. So I'd say stealth wise with this one, I'm definitely going to go Morgan because he sneaks up on people better and I think that he could knock someone on their ass a lot easier. Uh, so I'm going to go Morgan just because I feel like he's a bit more quiet and he's a bit more like, oh my God, Morgan's here, you know? So yeah, I'm definitely going to go TV show Morgan on this one, but maybe that's just me. Uh, now travel speed. Okay, now Morgan has definitely shown at times that he can be a bit slow still, you know, like if he's in the wrong headspace and stuff, whereas Andrea can get place to place very quickly. I mean, we've seen it many times in the comics. Uh, she's very quick on her feet. She's very qu quick at, you know, getting tasks done and getting jobs done. Morgan's a bit more kind of rough around the edges. So travel speed, I'm going to go with Andrea. I think Andrea is just a bit more, you know, kind of, uh, you know, tough in that kind of way. Now, strength. Um, um, okay. Now, again, here's the thing. Morgan with the stick, I agree. But strength wise, I'm going to have to say comic book Andrea. She dealt with a guy that literally was trying to murder her in the prison, like a crazy rapist, right? Um, you know, and she dealt with cannibals, which was a huge deal. Uh, she had a whole bunch of fight scenes throughout the show. Uh, she was also huge in All Out War. She had a lot of big moments there. Uh, she took on a huge savior in like the, the guard tower and stuff like that. And she did manage to kill him. So, you know, I'd say strength wise... Yeah, Comic Andrea, I'm sorry. Uh, Comic Andrea, she just has way more. She just has way more experience, I'd say. Morgan has dealt with a few people, but here's the thing strength-wise is that sometimes he doesn't finish the job. He doesn't kill the person. Andrea will kill the person. She has no, you know, disregard on that. And that's why we love Andrea, right? Is because she's very strong at what she does. She doesn't, you know, hesitate. She doesn't, you know, say, oh, well, all life is precious. I'll spare your life. No, she doesn't care about any of that, you know? So I'm definitely going to go uh, comic Andrea on that one as well. Next one is endurance. Now, uh, okay, here's the thing about this one. Morgan is a very emotional guy, you know, you get him on the wrong topic and he will, <laughs> he will break down. Andrea, nothing breaks her, man. Seriously, nothing breaks her. It's crazy. Like, here's the thing, even through like, I don't know, somebody's death, you know, like, let's take Dale for an example. She used that to become stronger, you know? Morgan, here's the thing about him. He's too dangerous when it comes to that type of stuff, and he'll just use his emotions in a bad way. So I'd say endurance, yeah, definitely, uh, I would definitely say comic Andrea. Now, we also have combat. Now, okay, here is when I'll say the TV show Morgan definitely uh, could have a, a bit of an advantage here. He definitely is good at what he does. He's quick with the stick, stuff like that. And if we're just going simply combat versus comic Andrea, who is better with like the sniper rifle type of thing. Okay, you know what? I'll give a second point to Morgan. Combat wise, Morgan will definitely win this one for sure. Now, we've also got speed. 
I've said this many times before, Morgan, he's very good at the staff. He's very good at what he does, you know, speed wise in terms of just, you know, overall kind of advantage over people. Comic book Andrea is better with the sharpshooter and the accuracy and like stuff like that. So again, with this one, I'll give a third point to Morgan. Yes, Morgan is better at speed. I will give him that. Uh, he's a bit more quick, the, the, the staff, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, he he's a bit more of a, of a, a killing machine, you know, uh, when it comes to the speed. So, yeah, third point for Morgan. Next one is experience. So, experience, oh man, this one, yeah, this one's definitely tough. Uh, Morgan's gone through a lot because he lost his family. He obviously has the training from Eastman. But at the same time, experience-wise, Andrea was almost raped by a guy in a, in a prison that was absolutely insane. Uh, you also had the death of her sister. You had everything else that she went through during the war, the, the cannibals, stuff like that. Um, I'd say experience-wise, you know, in terms of what would rough her up more, yeah. You know, I, I think we got to go with Comic Andrea on that one. Um... I don't know. Now, finally, we have skills. Now, skills, oh man, this one's definitely a little bit tough. Um, Skill-wise, we got Morgan with the staff. Yeah, he'll knock you on your ass. He'll do all this stuff. But then you've also got a sharp shooter. Now, if we're talking about this objectively, she could probably shoot him before anything happens, you know, so, um, I don't know, you know, it's, it's kind of tough. Not to mention, she's very good with her knife. We've seen it many times before. I'm going to give the edge to comic book Andrea here. I am. I am going to give the edge to comic book Andrea. And I think that gives us our clear answer for the end of this video. It's close. Morgan has three points and Andrea had five. Um, But, I, I, oh man, I don't know, man. I just feel like Morgan, here's the thing. This one definitely came a bit closer than the one we did last week. But I feel like comic book Andrea narrowly would take this 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 win for sure. I don't think it'd be easy. Definitely not going to be easy. Morgan is still good enough to where he'd put up a good fight. But I feel like eventually Andrea would be able to overpower him. She wouldn't get out in a in good condition. She probably would be roughed up real bad for sure. But I still think Andrea would win. I don't know. I still feel like she'd have a way to take over. I really do. So um. That's just my opinion. I feel like this is going to be a bit more of a controversial one than the Rick one. I'm actually very curious to see how many people agree and disagree with this one. Let me know in the comments section below. Also, leave some suggestions for the one next week. These are fun. I like doing these. These are really fun. So, anyway, if you knew the channel and you enjoyed, uh, of course, if you knew the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of the Walking Dead universe. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos of the Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.